Lucas Stewart. You're the product manager for the Elite Series of Product at Lawrence Electronics. And you've got to be pretty proud of the Elite 7 Series that you launched last year. And that was a smashing success. you got something else for us. What is it? We have the Elite 5 HDI. It takes the same sonar technology of the HDI, the hybrid dual imaging. So it combines our broadband sounder, which was previously only found in our high-end unit, plus the downscan imaging, which was also in our structure scan HDS series, and puts it into a five inch screen with the same functionality, but a little bit more affordable. So having them both together allows you to have your broadband sounder for jig tracking and big fish arches, and your downscan imaging to paint the lifelike pretty pictures we've all seen. Are we giving anything up when we go to a five inch screen? Not in sonar. So you still have the broadband sonar and the downscan imaging combined into one head unit and one transducer. Some of the differences, the Elite 7 has NEMA 2000 for network sharing, the 5 doesn't. When you're fitting into a compact space, you know, on smaller boats and kayaks, the 5 can fit where the 7 may not. What different products are available to the, to the fishermen? So we have a sonar only and we have a mapping only and then we have a combination unit of mapping and sonar. The new transducer does have the downscan element and the traditional sonar. This is a really nice compact low profile transducer. We do have this transducer which is the 83200 plus downscan, but we also make the 5200 plus downscan. The 5200 is a salt water application. Okay. It'll give you depths to around 2500 feet, whereas the 83200 is good for almost a thousand feet. Okay, now the consumer that's never dealt with cartography and mapping cards, You've got a, an assortment of some of the basic ones that you can use in the Elite 5 and the Elite 7. So this is our Lake Insight HD chip. This unit works with Lake Insight HD and Lake Insight Pro. Plus there's uh, lots of other options. You can have a blank card to record Insight Genesis mapping. Tell the consumer how easy it is to convert to a new product. The sonar uses the 7-pin blue connector, which is what we've historically used on our older products and the HDS series. So making an upgrade requires no changes in cable. Lucas, let's look at the mounting options on the new Elite 5 Series. So this one is the quick release bracket that it comes with. It can tilt and swivel. It has a nice handle here to release it. You just pick up on it, it pops off. And to put it back on, you snap it back in place. We also have the optional RAM mount. It allows the same quick release bracket, but you get the functionality of the RAM dual ball system. Last, you have the ability to do a flush mount. So you have your threaded inserts in the back. There is an additional external GPS antenna but with it being built into the head unit, you really don't need that for most applications. Hey Lucas, we've got the Elite 5 out on the water here. And the neat thing about this product is we've taken two incredible technologies combine them together and put them on one screen. We've got our broadband, 200 kilohertz, and our downscan imaging at 800 kilohertz. So we're getting the advantage of broadband showing fish and the ability to track baits, plus the downscan imaging showing that high detail image. Here we have a lot of vegetation and grass, plus, you know, occasional lay down or two, and the ability to see a fish on downscan and reference it back to the broadband. Let's go back and look at some of those weed line areas. Let's look at some of the fish. That is a fish in the weeds right there. You see it? Okay. On the downscan here, you can actually see where those fish were in the weeds. So I'm gonna rewind and show you what I'm talking about. So right here, you can see that this dot is clearly separated from those weeds, and you can see how this fish is right here. So they're, they're lined up. And that answers the question I get all the time is, what am I really looking at? If I'm looking at weeds, is that a fish in there? Isn't it a fish in there? Is it bait fish in there? Having downscan next to your broadband really answers that question. You can see this nice fish sitting right on the bottom and you get a lot of target separation with the downscan. So combining those two lets you go, no doubt that was a fish. So track back, mm -hmm. that gives us the opportunity to track back and lock down a waypoint, correct? That's right. You just push your cursor, rewind the sonar, hit the waypoint button and you've got it saved on your map. We can actually set up three viewing windows. So when I do the track back, I have the mapping page, I have the broadband sonar, as well as the uh, DSI, the downscan. So this unit has eight preset page layouts. We're all used to icons now, so you don't have to read map with a picture of the map. It makes interpreting uh, and learning this unit extremely easy for someone who's never used a fish finder before. You can customize the sizes of those screens as well, correct? 
We did allow for the angler to customize the unit exactly how they want. So you can change your data overlays, you can uh, make your data sizes bigger or smaller, move them around on the screen, and set up your pages so that your sonar screen is the biggest when you're fishing, your map screen is the biggest when you're uh, underway navigating. You have this nice graph, if you don't see fish, go find some fish. Trust it and you'll be able to definitely put yourself around more fish.